Hey guys, Micah from Black Bear Custom Kydex. I've got a quick video for you today on this sheath that I just finished for an SE5 and SE Azula. Uh, if you guys have been following me for a while, you've seen this recurring theme. Um, about a year ago, I want to say, I had a customer ask for um, an SE5 with an SE Azula as a breakaway piggyback system. And that means that the two knives or the two sheaths rather can be separated and independently carried. Uh, typically, what it would entail is that you choose a carry method for the overall sheath system, which will by default obviously be connected to the larger sheath. And then you choose a second carry method uh, for the smaller sheath. And that one um, will kind of dictate how I attach the two sheets because certain, you know, certain, um, I guess, uh, restriction, not restrictions, but there are certain constrictions on um, how and where you can attach things based on, um, you know, the location of your carry clip and things like that. So, um, what you see here is a, an ulti clip for the Azula and a tech lock for the SE5. So if you check this out, um, basically how it works is you can draw your Azula. And as you saw there, I was not using any kind of thumb ramp or anything like that. So the question I get a lot is, well, what if you just kind of like yank on your Azula? Will the Azula sheath pop free? Or, you know, is the retention on the sheath strong enough to pull the knife out? The answer is the retention is strong enough where you can just pull your knife out. And by the way, I'm not bracing the Azula sheath with my left. I can only demonstrate another way just so you can tell. All right. So... How I design it is that there is always going to be sufficient retention on the sheath to make sure that you can draw your Azula however you please. Now, obviously, um, it's going to draw a little easier if you use the thumb ramp um, because then you're actually pulling and pushing at the same time. Um, that might be a little bit difficult with this one because uh, my client's Azula has no scales on it. So... What that does is it means it's going to lay really, really low profile, which is always nice. However, as far as like drawing goes, it can make it a little bit difficult. So one thing that you can do is you can flex it a little bit. You can pull it a little bit away from the five and that might give you a little bit more comfortable of a draw. Um, however, the setup that it's in right now, obviously it looks like it would be set up for a left-handed carry, but it's actually set up for a right-handed scout draw, which means that it's going to ride like so in the small of his back. So he'll be facing that way, set up like this, and he'd reach behind himself and draw with his right hand. So the primary knife obviously will be very easy to draw, but what's that do to your hand position when you go for the secondary? So I, I talked to him about it and he said, that's not a problem for him. He'll just hook into the finger ring and deploy like so, or however he's most comfortable after uh, practicing with a little bit. So uh, it's a really nice little setup. I love doing these breakaway setups. I think they're really versatile. They're really cool. If you ever decide that you just want the SE5 and you want to take the Azula and the breakaway adapter off completely, you've just got these five screws right here. You can loosen those up with a Phillips head screwdriver and take those apart very easily. Um, likewise, if you are wearing this whole thing and you want to actually break away the Azula and carry them separately, it's very easy. What I would recommend with this particular design is that you take from the top and just kind of push it down. It'll have a little bit of flex and it'll start to break free like that. Plugging it back in, pretty self-explanatory. You just plug it back in. So break free, you pull down a little bit and then start to wiggle it free. Comes out like so, plugging it back in. Um, you definitely can accidentally get the top in there correctly, but have the bottom miss. So just kind of pay attention, make sure your top and bottom are both inside and you're good to go. Um, another really interesting thing I decided to do with this, this is the very first one that I've done this way. Um, if you guys have followed, you, you probably already noticed because you don't see the contour of the Azula sheath in this adapter. Normally you do. Um, what I actually decided to do was form this with a retention plate. That means that as you're looking at it right here, um, there is a gap between the two layers of the breakaway adapter. And in that gap are some rubber spacers. And there are also rubber spacers between the adapter and the SE5 sheath. So how you 
uh, use this is you can adjust the retention of the adapter onto the SE, uh, SE Zula sheath by tightening and loosening these five screws. So let's say you know that you're going to be going out to do something a little bit more rugged and you don't want your Zula sheath to separate at all. You can really cinch these five screws down, just tighten them as far down as you can, and it'll be very, very difficult to pull the Azula sheath off. Um, likewise, if you think that this is too much retention, you want it to be a little bit looser, well, you can loosen those up a little bit. I would recommend starting with just a half turn per screw in whatever direction you want to go and um, kind of find, uh, find your ideal retention that way. Don't go too far at once and try to make sure that they're all roughly the same, um, you know, screwed down to the same depth. It'll just make it a little bit easier, I think, to to kind of manage uh, the retention. So I think that's a really cool concept, though. Adjustable retention so that you can um, really optimize your system to your specifications. Um, as far as the tech lock goes, I did set this up so that the spacing between these two drill holes or eyelets, whatever that you see the screws in, are actually slightly wider than an inch and a half, which is the spacing necessary to do a horizontal or vertical carry with the tech lock. And what that does is it allows you to take your tech lock off and tilt it and wear it at a different angle. So if you wanted to, for example, here, let me get that Azula sheath out of there so I have room to play with this. Um, so you can wear it horizontal like so. You can turn it 90 degrees and wear it vertical like so. And if you look, you can, you can even see that that spacing is technically too wide for the drill holes right now. Um, you can make it work though. You can kind of cheat the angle. What you can also do is grab a corner hole here and then the bottom center hole. So you can change the angle to something like this, or you can grab say this center side hole and the bottom corner and span that gap. And then your sheath will ride roughly at that angle. So you do have some, some cant and ride height options there. And I think that's just a really cool feature. I'm really excited about this sheath. Um, I hope you guys like it. I would love your opinions down below. Um, for the most part, these modular systems that I've invented have been very well received. You guys seem to really like those. And I get, I think I get more requests. Uh, if it's not just a simple, you know, knife with one carry setup, no accessories, that's the most popular option. Um, a lot of people are just, you know, taking their knife for EDC or maybe even just like, uh, light camp tasks or hunting or something like that. They don't really need a lot of accessories or anything. Um, so that's definitely the most popular, or most common, uh, request for a sheath setup. Apart from that, if it's going to be a piggyback setup, I almost always get asked to do these breakaways in some configuration or another. So thank you guys so much for, uh, for your interest in, in this creation. I think it's a really cool thing. Um, and it all kind of evolved and stemmed from a couple different customer requests that they just needed something that was more modular and I had to come up with some way to, to fulfill that. And I think I've done that here. So, all right guys, well, let me know what you think of this. Let me know what you think of the SE knives. This one, by the way, has the 3d contoured scales. This is actually my knife, uh, but he has, uh, I think he said he's got the SE's neon green or venom green, whatever they call that for his SE five. And I'm not sure about his Azula, but I think it'll be a nice high contrast design. The sheath is in black super cam. Super cam is, uh, there are a few different primary distributors for the Kydex that most makers purchase. And the biggest distributor is knife kits or CKK industries. Um, and they have a version of multicam that they call super cam. So you can see it's obviously the same pattern. It's got a really cool look to it. So black super cam is what you're looking at here. All right, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and stick around for the next one. God bless.